is Scotland's biggest ever sporting event, with 6,500 athletes and officials from 71 countries and territories competing in 17 sports across 13 venues. In order to deliver a safe and secure Games with a lasting legacy for the whole of Scotland, the Scottish Government is working alongside Glasgow City Council, the Organising Committee and Commonwealth Games Scotland. Highlights in the story so far include many venues opening more than a year in advance of the Games, for example, the Emirates Arena and Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome, and over 75% completion of the Athletes' Village. However, there is still much to be done, including preparing the venues for Games time, interviewing over 25,000 volunteers, and planning for the Queen's Baton Relay. It's vital that we recognise that the Games aren't just about elite athletes. Aside from the spectacle of sporting achievement, the Games provides a once-in-a-generation opportunity to make lasting improvements to Scotland and bring a wide range of benefits to individuals, businesses and communities across the nation. And that's why we've started planning early, we've got a good range of legacy programmes in place and people are benefiting now. Our 10-year plan for the Games is set around four themes. These are flourishing, active, connected and sustainable. Given the very wide range of legacy programmes and initiatives in these areas, legacy will mean different things to different people. For a Scottish business, legacy might mean winning games-related contracts, paving the way for further contracts and new markets at home and overseas. For a young person, legacy might mean a job, an apprenticeship, or a role as a youth legacy ambassador where they can learn new skills and gain new experience. For school children, it's the opportunity to learn about Commonwealth and the Games, about citizenship values and about other countries and their cultures. For our communities, it's about improving local facilities, <coughs> encouraging participation and celebrating culture and sports. But for every one of us, it's about becoming inspired and active, whether that's through walking, cycling or taking up a new sport. I think the Digital Innovation Challenge is well aligned to Scotland's legacy plan. It has a clear potential to contribute towards our objectives, improving the perception of Scotland as a world-class destination for business, events and tourism, as well as improving physical activity and participation in sports. We want to see a Scotland that's at the forefront of the digital economy, encouraging dis digital participation. Organisations involved in Glasgow 2014 can use the event as a springboard to help develop their businesses for the long term, capitalising on the growth predicted to result from hosting both the Games, the Ryder Cup, and other major tourist and sporting events. I look forward to hearing your ideas on encouraging participation, including engaging with audiences in an exciting and inclusive way, while providing a clear message around the games. In terms of key things to think about, it's important to understand what's going on already, whether that's our commitment to provide 150 community sports hubs across Scotland, the Glasgow 2014 cultural programme, or the official education programme for the games, Game on Scotland. Full details of all these programmes can be found on our website at legacy2014.co.uk. Entrepreneurs should be mindful of network capacity when developing an app. Good user experience is paramount. Work is ongoing with Glasgow City Council and the organising committee to understand the full offerings in terms of capacity and network. Geographical reach is also crucial. The majority of venues are in the greater Glasgow area. However, we've also got diving in Edinburgh and shooting near Carnoustie. In short, the games aren't just about Glasgow, they're for the whole of Scotland. A great app should also be scalable, perhaps something that small community groups can use, being able to submit and promote local activities to their local communities. Evaluation is a key part of any legacy activity, so the app should be geared towards providing important feedback on user experience and activity in the context of the games. For example, you might look to answer questions like what sorts of users went on to sign up to a local group as a result of watching a sporting activity. Intellectual property rights require careful consideration and so any entrepreneur should be ready to highlight risk. Spot a gap, improve, but don't duplicate. For example, Glasgow City Council's Glasgow Scotland Style app, uh, Traffic Scotland, event-based journey planner, and Visit Scotland all offer their own bespoke apps. And lastly, log on to Legacy 2014 <coughs> Brand Centre by heading to legacy2014.co.uk forward slash users forward slash register to get all sorts of information on the latest logos, footage and guidance on branding. Glasgow 2014 is the biggest sporting and cultural event in Scotland's history and with that brings a whole host of opportunities for individuals and businesses. 
We're really keen to look at innovative ideas that will help us to address some of the unique challenges brought about by the Games. The IC Tomorrow competition is a way for us to start having that conversation with the tech community to hopefully try and generate some ideas for the Games or for future events of this scale. The core digital solutions for Games Time will be delivered through existing contracts. So it's about generating cost-effective and clever solutions that could realistically be delivered in a relatively short time frame. We're really looking for enhancements for anyone engaging with the games rather than any of the core digital solutions. The digital media team at the organising committee manages a number of content channels and databases. Much of this we won't be able to share for the purpose of the competition, but solutions that present this data in a unique or engaging way should certainly be considered. There's also lots of publicly available data too, from tagged tweets and images to interactive data-driven maps, for example. There may be opportunities to use big screens at events, but the work is still ongoing at the moment, so there's no guarantee. Solutions don't have to be about big screens. Millions will watch on TV, they'll pick up news updates online and results on their phones. There'll be millions of interactions, comments and content across social media networks from people either at the events or from across the Commonwealth. We'll provide a results service at games time that will work across all connected devices and that's likely to include an app development. The opportunities then might be around enhancing the experience for those who are visiting the games, from understanding the sports and the sports programme to helping people connect and engage with others through social media. So we're really looking at developments that will help bring the experience to life for anybody who's engaging with the games.